welcome back, everyone, to the Red Octopus CSA reaching far westward. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, if you look from, like, you know, bird's eye view or whatever, you see that, like, we kind of have tentacles reaching west. And, uh, I don't know, I feel like the image is uh, evocative, you could, uh, you could say. Anyway, um, so yeah, as I was... Uh, as I was talking about last time, uh, we need to we need to get some things done. So we're about to get the encirclement here, and uh, Canadian intervention looms. Uh, reports from the north indicate that the Canadian government has become increasingly nervous of a victory by American forces in the American Civil War. Already, they are staging a larger number of forces along our common border. And their government is preparing for direct intervention. We should alert our forces and watch for their order to be given so we are not taken unawares. Building a Red Navy. Uh, we shall convert ships to cruisers or to destroyers. Um, well, we already have cruisers. But cruisers are good. So let's get some destroyers. So we got 10 destroyers. Mm. 1916 Wickes class. Perhaps we should have tried to get ourselves some extra cruisers, to be honest, but that's, that's okay. Uh, in terms of the Canadian problem, we are going to deploy our divisions. Yeah. Can they cross here? It seems like it is a river that they can cross, so yeah, whatever. We need to put some troops here. And uh, I guess I'll also... Mm, we also could do this, just in case they get access through the United States of America, which they shouldn't. I don't know, I'm not sure, but they might. And, uh, yeah, another thing that we can do is uh, bring some of these troops back from the front all the way to, you know, over here. But it might not be needed. It might not be needed. I think we might just have enough to, um, might just have enough to protect ourselves, sort of, from the Canucks. Not sure. Not sure. But, um, we definitely have divisions. So, yeah. Still annoying how they're about to intervene and destroy us, but it's it's fine, it's fine. We're gonna survive. Alright. Need him to be stopped in his mad rampage. Alright. Actually do that. And uh, up here, well... You're pretty much boned. Very good. Actually, you can do this, and you can do that. Yeah, try to defend the border with the United States uh, forces. All right, okay. Very good. So now we can finish off these Americans come. Very good. And uh, the Canadian intervention looming is good. Well, I mean, it's good that we got that event, you know? It's good that we got the warning that that was going to happen. Um, yeah, honestly, I'm pretty happy with the forts that we have. I don't think we need any more. But who knows? Who knows? Um, again, I do have the forces nearby to get some extra help in case that's necessary. In case that is necessary. All right, extra factories, and that's never bad. I guess we can start to build up some light tanks because why the hell not? Okay, thanks, Communist France. That's very good of you. Not really quite sure. Huh. Looks like we lost a motorized division somehow. Not sure how that's possible. Really not sure how that's possible, but fine. All right. 
night, so I need to finish. Need to finish these pockets as quickly as possible. Very good. No more problems from him. And here we are about to get that done in Delta. Very good. Congo. Okay, so that's the end of the Kivu clique. One of the most amazing little nations that spawn out of Middle Africa. And that, uh... That trade is not working, because we're not getting convoys. Right, speaking of convoys, need to bl bloody produce some. So actually, perhaps, the priority should not be military factories, it should be dockyards, so that we can produce some convoys. Yes, that's very great. Ooh, thank you very much. That is good of you to surround yourself so. I so like it when these guys surround themselves. Oops. You're in trouble, mate. Alright, so he's dead. Very good. Improved machine tools. Alright, and uh, now we can get ourselves some new fighters. Very good. Um, okay. Enough of that, and actually, wow, the Union of Britain is actually moving! They're moving their volunteers and actually doing stuff. How dare they? That's incredible. The fall of Burgos. Seems like the, the Spanish are having problems. The Spanish, I mean the Carlist Spanish. And, oh, Portugal got Galicia. So, yeah, it seems like uh, organic memes are happening. Organic memes, everyone likes those. Okay. Very good. Now, come and get me Canada. I'm pretty ready for you. I'm pretty sure I'm ready for you. It looks like they have a bunch of uh, militias actually on the front, which, you know, I'm not scared of. Because I've got militias too, and oh yes. I've got an aircraft carrier. It's just called carrier, so that's not very useful. Uh, right, speaking of that, that means that we can get ourselves some carrier naval bombers. There we go. Carrier naval bombers. A peace deal has been signed between Zanzibar and Tanganyika. Wow, that's awesome. That's probably because uh, Zanzibar normally owns Mombasa, I think? Something like that? Yeah, Zanzibar is Mombasa as a core state. Wow. Good job, Tanganyika. Spirit of freedom. That's obviously that's obviously what they're doing. And ooh, volunteer forces. Returning to divisions to the Dominion of Britain. Oh, sorry, not Dominion. Union of Britain. That's because they are fighting the Irish, which is good. It's very, very good that they got to fight the Irish before, you know, anyone else got involved. So, yes, the Union of Britain, you know, doing, doing their job. And, um... Both the Union of Britain and this, uh, the Commune of France, and I think the Socialist Republic, yeah, the Socialist Republic of Italy too, they've all gone syndicalist. So the all the major syndicalists, or all the major cities, have gone actual syndicalist. Now India and Mexico have gone totalist, but you know, um, 
Yeah, it seems like cynicalism really is experiencing a wave and rise. So that's obviously quite good. There's a river there, so taking it would be quite useful for our front line. I guess we can do this. Yeah, seems pretty good. And we can just push west. At this point, I don't see any obstacles to this. Push west. Somehow their divisions here have been able to cut me off, which is quite absurd. Pretty much something else. But, yeah, they can't stop all of my troops. El Salvador has declared war on everyone, which is seems like something that happens a lot of the times. Hashtag football war 2.0. Actually now, you can come, you know, you can sally forth from your positions and take Portland and Salem, and uh, that should not us Oregon. Very good. Uh, so honestly, I think that we're seeing the end. We're seeing the end of the United States play out, as we see. 400,000 losses, very good, as opposed to only 83,000 of ours lost in the struggle. He is, uh, he is surrounded too, very good. Hit the M3 Lee medium tanks, and uh, yeah. That would be pretty great to get ourselves some medium tanks. Although it's gonna take a while, obviously, for that to be any effect. But yeah, look at that, Red Navy. The Red Navy is strong. Ooh, internal conflicts. It has, been, it, has, it has often been said that the greatest enemy of the left is not the capitalists, but themselves. The overstated this phenomenon has, regard, has reared its ugly head in the intense conflict between some factions of the CSA, most notably the vanguardists and the anarchists. In some cases, the conflicts has moved beyond words, manifesting as ugly brawls and even in extreme cases as friendly fire incidents. This clearly cannot be tolerated if we are to emerge triumphant in the civil war, and we must choose whether we should pick a side or force a compromise until the revolution is over. Let's maybe force a compromise. Yes. That brings us up to 100% war support. Oh, there they are. I was wondering where these guys were. And how they were so annoying. They've got Dallas somehow. Which is, well, infuriating. But, yeah, I don't see how these guys can really hope to stop our glorious advance. Like, at this point, we're about to take some key cities of California. And once California is ours, I don't see them coming back. Orders. 
Very good. That has been dealt with. Uh, they still have a lot of troops in Washington, obviously, but we can deal with them eventually. Actually, yeah, we need to take him out. We can take him out, too. Oh, seems like they've cut me off. That's, that's kind of annoying. But yeah, we took most of the major cities, and uh, what's really keeping them from capitulating? Oh, I guess they control Los Angeles and Southern California. Right. So the nature of California being just so bloody big is saving their asses, essentially. And we need to take Idaho, too. Right. Coast Guard. Revolutionary Marines. Yeah. Smedley Butler. <laughs> Inspired by the brave sailors of the battleship Patyomkin that fought the imperialist powers of their own nations, we have dedicated a new Marine Corps. Yes. Great. The new Patyomkin sailors. Monarchy restored in Greece. You. That's not. It's not that great. Yeah, not really much is going on right now. We're just uh, kind of surviving. Just kind of surviving. Honestly, at this point, we should really have this in the bag, but it's gonna still take a while. It'll still take a while. Very good. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh wait. What? How the how the hell did they take Philadelphia? How the bloody hell did they do that? I don't know. Me no understand though. Very good, we need to uh, need to finish the encirclement of this man. Hey, seriously, what the hell happened with Philadelphia? I don't understand, there must be a division there somehow. division that took that. I have no idea. Wait, convoys? Oh, that's the land lease. Annoying. Oh, we've got more divisions. Very good. Almost finished the army here. You can replace a lot of the line troops with uh, line militias with actual infantry. And uh, then the militias can do other stuff. Very good. 
Uh, honestly, I can just I can just activate this at this point. Atlantic Socialist Republic, yay! Do we have the troops in the correct positions? We do. Very good. I don't think that the Canadians really pose any threat now. Okay, should be enough to defend there. He will die, good. Unfortunately, the federal government is always finding new troops, which is really annoying. Really, really annoying. But hey, we can survive. We can survive this. Keep on Guatemala has joined the Liberal Pact. What the hell? I don't know. Very good, man. Look at these land doctrines. We have so much, so much strength from those land doctrines. Just need to take as much territory as possible and get the federal government to surrender. Uh, the problem seems to be that without Washington, we're never going to get their surrender. Although they should have the malice, right? What? I don't know, man. Um, I, I used to think that they spoke... They were supposed to have this big malice if I took the West, which I did. But it seems like that did not happen. And we're going to cut off capitalism because that gives us... Base strike doctrine, so we can get ourselves some carriers. Central Committee Directive Number One Two Three One: Establishment of the Committee for Intelligence Activities. It is an unfortunate fact that there are spies and saboteurs within our territory working to prevent our glorious liberation of the proletarian masses. Of the many proposals submitted to the Central Committee, uh, one stands out. Earl Browder's proposal is to create a committee to enforce revolutionary order and stop counter-revolutionary sabotage. However, others within our central committee, uh, including Chairman Reed, wonder if this is a necessary step and if we would be betraying our ideals. Regardless, a vote was taken. What was decided? The Committee for Intelligence Activities will be created. The CIA. Um, that's 3% totalist or minus 3% war support, or is it? It's not necessary for now. I don't necessarily want radical socialist, but I don't necessarily want totalist either. Because I'm thinking of going syndicalist. But having the CIA just makes, you know, just, just makes it good. Well, I mean, this is a, the actual Central Intelligence Agency. That was just the Committee for Intelligence something. Let's let him move in here. Honduras has joined the People's Vanguard. Wow. Okay, so apparently there's El Salvador and Honduras teaming up to fight Nicaragua and uh, Costa Rica plus Panama. Oh, but these are in the Entente. Oh my god. Oh my god, cancerous. Absolutely annoying. Alright, at least we've got Dallas completely taken. I sure hope that you do not have supply there. Uh, you probably do. That's annoying. No, 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 no. Jesus Christ. What I want to do is this. Just let me do that. Uh, we're gonna need to take Washington, are we? Yeah, because we've got all the states over here. 
We've got this part too, so that's not a problem. That's not a problem. That should not be a problem. It will be though. The Union of South Africa has declared war on the Union of South Africa. How great. <laughs> South African Civil War. Man, it just loves the song. Alright, you're kinda there. So that's what that's what happened there. Alright, he is moving in that. Very good. See, it's just what I've been doing so far. I'm just letting him come around. Oh, it's the legation marines. How oh, lovely. So it's uh, the colonial troops, as it may. And now he's screwed. So I'll just be continuing to do this for a while. I'll just be continuing to do this for a while and... Uh, I think I'll cut now, and uh, Let's go. yeah, I'll cut until anything like actually interesting happens, which might take a while. Might take a while, and of course, here's some t sabotage. Hashtag counter revolutionaries re. And, uh, yeah, I'll just, I don't know, I'll just see what the Canadians try to do, which, I mean, sounds pretty derp, but, yeah, pretty much, like, our only problem right now might be Canada, and, to be fair, though, I might want them to attack us now, because we are at our strongest. Like, if the Canadians attack us now, we are in a strong position to defend ourselves. Like, look at how many divisions we can get out, you know? We are not weak. And, oh yes, that is exactly what I wanted to see. Look at those Americans getting themselves surrounded. Yeah, you're in trouble, mate. You are in big trouble. And they're just spawning more divisions, but can't really fight us. In the long term, cut off capitalism, good. And uh, eventually, we're gonna be in a strong enough position to defeat them in Washington. By that point, we're, they're gonna be dead. Very good. Yeah, as you can see, they're just, you know, losing their what, whatever's left of their army. It's just the volunteer divisions that are, you know, keeping them in the fight now. And I kind of know how to deal with them. I think I'll be switching around this army's troops. You know, I'll be putting them in defense. Okay, it looks like Ireland is dead. Good. I might be putting these troops in defense and then bring the actual infantry in the fight. So yeah, that's what I'll do. And, uh, yeah, I think I'll be... Actually, never mind. I'll just... I'll just end the episode in Washington, D.C. Because I think that we can do that. I think that we are able to do that. We're gonna be strong enough to defeat Washington with uh, our actual artillery wielding troops and we do not need to take Norfolk and it's 10 Russian plus Germans plus you know 10 divisions of Russian Russian Russo German Austrian so you know like the Holy Alliance um, the sacred Alliance or whatever and uh, we do not need to fight that no need there's still some pockets of resistance all over but honestly they're they're gonna be destroyed gonna be destroyed and uh, 
All right, that's good. That's not bad. Sure, extra concentrated industry. Why not? And I guess, uh, you know, four speed, wait for the troops to be in place. Move out. All right, uh, you are not fully planned up, so let's get the office plan working. So that we can get ourselves the plan preparation to, you know, a high level. Kingdom of Siam has joined the Core Prosperity Sphere, well, obviously. Because why? What else would they do? And let's see. They have four divisions with no artillery. Four divisions with no artillery plus one division with no artillery. So they have, you know, a few tens of thousands of infantry versus an army where now we have 84 pieces of artillery per division with 11 divisions. So that's. That's a lot of artillery. That's more than a thousand guns. Let's see what effect that does on Washington. It is a slaughter. Very good. With the force attack, it's going to be an easy, easy victory. And the fall of Washington, D.C. Syndicate militias have advanced towards and captured the symbolic capital of the United States, Washington, D.C. They stormed the Capitol building and met strong resistance, but eventually they broke through and the flag of the combined syndicates of America now flies over the U.S. Capitol. Rumors are that syndicate militias have been rounding up all political representatives that they can find in the city to give them trial. Although unconfirmed sources claim that the most important government figures have been evacuated during the battle, with their current whereabouts unknown. The central government has been thrown off its golden throne. So, Operation Liberation is complete, and that's the end of the United States of America. Uh, wait, Hawaii did not succeed, so now we have Hawaii too. Very good. The revolution is triumphant. And next time, we're going to be taking a look at what we can do now. Um, yeah, where can we expand the revolution? How we're going to rebuild the country? All these kinds of things. So yes, thank you all for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you soon.